Hello and welcome back to the channel where once again it's time for some more Saturn vs PlayStation action. If you didn't know last time, Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition came out on top against Ridge Racer Revolution, pulling a point back for the Saturn, meaning the PlayStation has a 4-3 lead overall. This week's game is a game which came out on practically every console at the time. It is of course Street Racer, that Mario Kart style beat-em-up racing game. So this week we're going to start with the PlayStation game first in the looks department and for all intent purposes Street Racer is a really nice looking 2D mixed with 3D Mario Kart style racing game. I really love the sprites for the characters on this game. The background images, I really like those as well. One downside I'd say on the PlayStation version is I don't feel like there's enough 3D scenery in the large majority of the levels. I feel, feel like they could have done more with the PlayStation. This came out towards the end of 1996, so they'd had a couple of years really to get to get grips with what the PlayStation could do. And I just feel like this game didn't quite make the best use of the PlayStation's maximum potential really. For what it is though, it looks nice. It runs really well. I haven't got any complaints about the way it looks. I just feel like it could have given us perhaps a little bit more. So moving across to the Saturn for the visuals, and even if you're a PlayStation fanboy, you cannot deny that the Saturn version looks far more visually impressive and appealing right from the get-go. You've got clouds floating, you've got shadows, you've got far more three-dimensional scenery on all of the courses. It genuinely looks a far better game, but it runs just as well. There's no slowdown here, and it's an example of a game I feel that uses the Saturn to much more of its capability than a lot of other racing games did. In fact, I think Street Race is probably one of the best looking racing games on the entire system overall in the visuals and looks department. It really does put the sword to the PlayStation version. However, there is one small advantage that the PlayStation version does have, and that is the quality of the full motion video within the game. Now, there's not a lot just at the beginning and at the end, but the PlayStation version has a much bigger screen size and also far more frames of animation. I've no idea why this is the case. But regardless of that, in the looks department, there can only be one winner in this game, and that game is the Saturn version. So moving across to sound effects and music, and there isn't really any need to talk about the games individually here because from my experience, they both sound exactly the same. They've got the same sound effects. They've got the same musical tracks. There is no difference between either version as far as I'm concerned in this department. What you will know is that Street Racer does have some pretty nice tunes to race along to. I spoke about it when I reviewed the Saturn version probably about a year ago now, and this game was in my Sega Saturn top 10 for quite a while. But because there are no differences between the sound effects and music, it is, of course, a tie in this area. So moving across to the gameplay, and the gameplay is exactly the same on both systems. All the characters have exactly the same moves and skills on either version. They all accelerate, brake, use their turbo, use their special attacks, punch with your right arm, punch with your left arm, collect the turbos, that kind of stuff. It is exactly the same. The only thing that differs is the fact you're using a different control pad on either version. And this is where one version has, in my opinion, a slight advantage over the other because I feel that a PlayStation pad is slightly better set up for this game where you need to use all eight buttons. It's easier to access them on the PS1 control pad because the R1, R2, L2, L1 are easier to press than having to press X, Y, Z, A, B, C. It's just a fact. And so for me, in the gameplay department, because the PlayStation pad, in my opinion, is slightly better suited to this type of game, the PlayStation version comes out on top. So moving over to content and lifespan, and what I'm going to say here is very similar to what I said in sound effects and music, because I don't notice any difference between the two games on either system in this area. They've both got the same number of characters to start with. They've both got the secret character, the rabbit, to unlock. Both got the same amount of tournament options, multiplayer options. There's no difference in any of it. So it's impossible to say one version is better than the other for content and lifespan. So in this department, it is a tie as well.
So we're at that point where we must decide which version of Street Racer comes out on top. There is no denying that Street Racer is a great game on both systems. It's still fun and enjoyable to play this day, to this day. Plenty of characters, plenty of courses, great music. It really is a decent game. But the two main talking points when we're comparing the two are the visual quality between the two systems, the difference in visual quality, the fact that the Saturn game looks far more impressive. There's far more going on. It's far more interesting to look at. It is genuinely a vastly superior game to look at. And the other thing is the fact that the PlayStation control pad is slightly better suited to a racing game that uses all of the buttons because they're easier to access with your fingers. Now that doesn't really make the game better. That's just down to the control pad. And in that regard, I have to say the winner this week is the Sega Saturn version of Street Racer. I feel the visual quality just does it. There's nothing you can do about that. It's just a better looking game. It sounds the same. It's got the same gameplay options. So it's really, really close. But the visual quality means the Saturn comes out on top this week, which means the score is now tied at four wins apiece. Have I got it right? Let me know your views down below which version of street racer do you think is the best obviously it came out on plenty of other systems as well back in the day that is it for today thank you for watching and as always i will be back in the near future with another comparison video goodbye for now